All right, we're inside. Give you a shot here coming in. That's the uh, switches for the lights. I got the water pump switch there, the um, hot water heater switch, the monitors for the tanks, which I don't have the monitors hooked up yet. Swing around here, the kitchen area. I can get a pan here. Quite a bit of cabinet space under here. This was a sink I recovered from the donor trailer. And you can see the oven. I do have uh, some bins I've got under here for storage. You can see my, uh, that's a two and a half gallon. That's just for drinking water. That goes to the hand pump up top. I do have two other tanks on here. I have about 66 gallons of fresh water on board. And uh, it's cabinets. My wife sits there, I move it when I'm traveling. I gotta build a shelf for it up here and lock it down. But all future stuff, up top cabinets. Got lots of stuff up in there. Got one up over the oven as well. Range hood. See the backsplash on the oven there? This is an access panel for the uh, back of the shower. I had a leak there my first trip. I um, had to fix that, plus it gives me access to it anyway. Good inspection point. The oven in the three burner stove top. All works very well. I recovered this from a donor treader. Down below here underneath the stove um, is the hot water heater. Six gallon propane. Also modified so it runs off uh, 400 watts electricity as well. Takes a little longer obviously but all works very well. So this is the kitchen area that I've kind of built into the two foot deep vinos up here on the countertop. In the cabinets. I did make the cabinets myself. Um, first time I've ever done that. They turned out okay, as you can tell I made them, but hey, I'm happy with it. And I uh, see down the top here the, all the LED lighting down the roof line here. Next thing I'm going to show you is to the left here. This is the power panel. This is where uh, electric, that's the inverters, the breaker panels, the transfer switch I have up there on the right switch between shore power or line inputs to the inverter which all runs through the second breaker panel there. So my converter, my little ham radio receiver transmitter there and DC wiring, current shunts, DC breakers. Um, I uh, gotta straighten up the wires and clean them up obviously. Uh, this here is just a closet. Batteries in there. The batteries also extend up underneath the uh, dinette seat there. I do have to uh, panel the inside of this thing when I'm done wiring and cleaning that up. Not much left to do there, but just, just a few things. Swing around behind me here. We'll come into the uh, bathroom. This is uh, the dinette, obviously a pitcher mugly mug there. Um, you can see uh, shower. Really happy with the way the shower turned out. Um, this extra, this is a 24 by 24 inch shower, but I've got this extra width up front. So when you're in there showering, you're not banging elbows and stuff. It really makes it feel like a much larger shower than it is. Vanity, got drawers, and uh, that's where the plumbing goes up underneath there. The back side of the outside showers down there and all that stuff. Up top here is where that's a cabinet. See a little slit in the back, actually that's so I can get access to the air conditioner uh, filter that comes out. That was a bit of an after afterthought, I didn't realize until I got it all together that filter had to come out. But hey, it works. You see the uh, black water vent pipe coming up there. The toilet sets in a corner down here, um, so when you sit and let your knees are out this way, you're not banging knees, a lot more room to move around. Anyway, pretty functional bathroom actually for an RV, um, big by, by standards. One of the things I wanted to have in this thing, um, but you can see the door that closes there. You see, I have privacy. Work my way to the back here. It's a dinette, not a real great dinette for lounging at, um, but it is good for eating, uh, sitting there, laptop, chatting, you know, whatever. Nice window opens up with a screen, you can exit that if you need to. Over top cabinets here. That's trim work to do back in there but uh so we put all the clothes and stuff while we're traveling so top back here um there's a light up over the bed i will turn on 
but you can see the uh, windows. Little queen size uh, bed up here. This is on trolleys. Uh, one day get a uh, winch set up where I can lower it. But the bikes do fit under. Good sitting area down here when the bikes come out. Lounge area. Spare tire, e track. We turn the stereo down here a little bit. It's the air conditioner, which is built in. Now it vents up top. Uh, it's got an uh, air conditioner vent or refrigerator vent on top. It pulls air in and it comes out the side. All built into a cabinet. The face comes off easy if I need to swap that baby out if it fails. So far it's been doing great. Really happy with it. 6,000 BTUs. Cools the trailer just fine on the hottest Florida days. Uh, runs off the little, little, little generator as well. Runs off Honda 2000. And solar for three or four hours, as long as you got a good sun. Stereo, this Bluetooth. Um, can run off my phone. I got a memory stick in there now. I'll run some old classics. Uh, 4.3 cubic inch refrigerator. Standard for uh, a house or actually a little dorm. Freezer works really good. I actually will freeze things. This thing's very low power. It draws uh, about 60 watts when it's running. It doesn't run a whole lot. It runs through the inverter or shore power. But with the solar, I got 500 watts of solar and 345 amp hours of battery, so it has no problem keeping up and running all night with the batteries and stuff. So it doesn't need anything to run but the sun and the batteries. And then a little drawer down here below. So my catch all drawer. Keep a few things in. Down below here, I still have to build an access panel too, but I just hung a curtain there now. But that's, an, that's one of the 32 gallon uh, water tanks. You see, it goes through the back wall out to this guy here. You got the accumulator, the water pump, a bunch of valves, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, easy to get to. Get some emergency shut off valves. If I spring a leak, I can run back there and pop it closed. This tank consumes up most of it underneath this seat here, but I do have a little room right there. I'm going to put an access door in the back to put tie downs and ropes in. Um, I guess I could make a bed out of that for a small kid someday, but I probably won't. I'll see what the grandkids want to do. But it's kind of a look. It's my uh, max air fan on the roof, pulls about 900 cubic feet per minute. Crack a few windows up top, man. You're at night and you got a breeze blowing by you with that thing going. Works really well. So, believe it or not, this thing is uh, all this is primer. I really have a final paint job. I'm just kind of waiting to use it a little bit, see where I kick and get dirty. I may end up doing some two tone grays, but uh, still need final paint and some trim and like the panel in the closets little things like that but for the most part it is done this is a 2016 lark uh, 18 by a 7 with a 2 foot V I got an extra 18 inches inside to make it seven and a half foot tall to accommodate the bed and and all that stuff in the back and actually it feels pretty roomy walking around here I'm at six foot um, I've got double insulation in the roof got insulation in the walls uh, this thing stays cool in the summer warm in the winter and uh, 60 something gallons of fresh water on board plus two and a half gallons of drinking water and and uh, 30 gallons of black water, 30 gallons of gray water holding tanks. Pretty self-contained. Uh, very happy with it. Use it a few times now and a few things I want to modify. Some things I may do differently next time around but this is a, just a picture of the inside of my uh, homemade uh, cargo treader conversion toy hauler. I guess I'll sign off for now. Uh, thank you guys for taking a look at this thing. I do uh, have most of this documented with pictures and details on uh, the blog, uh, tnttt.com. I'll, I'll put a link below for that. But uh, oh, maybe something I've done will be a help to you. If I can do this, believe me, anybody can do it. You guys have a good afternoon. Thank you.